what they go do with me now. I'm still a talk of the town. Don't need assistance, I'm hooking them down. We turn the smiles into frowns. Gang hop out, then we clear on the crowd. Wet pussy. I'm like, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. She wanna drop it on me. I'm like, hey. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Brianna Imani. And we're back for another interview with Talk of the Town. And who do we got in the building today? Rico Red. We got Rico Red in the building coming from Atlanta, right? Yes, ma'am. So, welcome to New York. How's your time been here so far? It's been okay. It's cool. It's lit. All right. So, tell me, like, what was it like? You grew up in Atlanta? Yeah, I came I came out there when I was three years old. Okay, so you a baby. So you grew up there. Where you looking yeah. at before that? Puerto Rico. So that's where Puerto Rico Red came from. Yeah. So but okay, we're gonna get into that. Alright, so what has it been like though growing up in Atlanta? I mean it's been great. I've been there since I was three years old, so it's like the culture and everything just mm -hmm. you know, it was great. And when did you start like getting into music? Um, I think I really got into it when I was like thirteen, fourteen, like like doing my first little song type, you mm -hmm. know, like, and then like really just going at it. Okay, so would you say that you started making music because of like what you were around, like the culture, or was it something that you were genuinely interested in? Uh, at first, I feel like I was doing music because at first, I feel like I started doing music because my I see my homeboys do it, and then I'd be like, man, I'm gonna try this. Then, mm -hmm. then I'd be like, man, I can't do it, then I'd leave it alone, then go do something else, mm -hmm. then go try it again, mm -hmm. like just playing around with it. So, so I really took it serious, serious. Okay, so if it wasn't music that you were taking serious, what would it have been? Uh, boxing. I used to box. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I used to box when I was younger too. So what was it that made you feel like music was it? Uh, it didn't. It made me feel like it was it when I really like just like started going harder, like you know, mm -hmm. just just going to the studio and like really like making songs. Mm -hmm. And I was like, man, I can do this. Okay, so were you listening to anybody growing up that like influenced you or influenced your sound? Uh, not that influenced my sound. I just listened like the people I like, like some like some fifties, like Eminem, like Lil Wayne that I grew up to listening to. Really. Mhm. Mm so you named like some like hardcore rappers. Yeah, they you are. Said, yeah, you said they don't influence your sound. So I'm curious to know, like, what would you? How would you describe your sound? My sound. Mhm. Mm I, I say my sound kind of like. Like future wave a little bit, like like them kind of cats, like mm -hmm. future writer rich, like and that kind of like like that melodic bit. type melodic, thing. melodic yeah, mm -hmm. melodic rap, yeah. So like, walk me through like what your creative process looks like, like from the time that you like have it in your mind to write a song. To uh, the time recorded. I gotta everything start with the beat. I gotta have the right beat. Mm -hmm. Like if I don't like the beat, I might not even record that day. Oh really? Yeah, like, I, I gotta find the beat and then just play with the hook. Everything come from the hook for me. Like I gotta make the hook. Like mm -hmm. if the hook don't sound right, I don't, I don't like it. So you start from the hook and you build it out. Yeah. But there's never a time like maybe you be like chilling and then like some lyrics come in your head and then you, like go based on those. Yeah, I be in the car. Now I'm saying like I be in the car sometimes. Like play the beat and try to come up with a hook like that. And where do you go? That's how I come up with, yeah, yeah, actually, like, oh, really? I was in the car, and I heard the beat, and when I heard the beat, when I went to the website and grabbed the beat, mm -hmm. I was like, she got that wet, uh, I'm like, yeah, yeah, and that's how I came up with it. Okay, well, yeah. I mean, you mentioned it, so let's, let's talk about it now, so you have Yeah Yeah coming out with Kelly, mm -hmm. and that, I mean, it's a bop. Yes. It's a bop. So you just sure. said that you heard the beat while you were in the car and you started coming up with your lyrics. Yeah, with the hook, yeah. Now, was this pre or post Cali? Did you know she was gonna be on it? Uh, when I made the song, I, when I made the song, actually when I made the song and I heard it, I was like, well, I need to go put Cali on it because she was already my own girl. So I was like, oh, oh easy. okay, that's dope. So how was it working with her? It was great. You mm -hmm. know, she came in there and killed it. Of course. Uh -huh. So, and y'all have visuals. Yeah, we shot the video and everything. How do you feel? So, how do you feel about working with like female artists? Is that something that you like? What yeah, it'd be dope. I would like to work with a lot of more female artists. Like yeah. who? Like, shit, like, uh, Mulatto, Ruby Rose. Like, just different just different artists I see, like, they're doing their thing and running. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it'd be dope. So, you are like, I guess, right now in the stage of rebranding because all of your instagram content is basically based around yeah yeah uh -huh. drop the names so and now you're rico red now yeah. so what does like who is rico red what can we like look forward to seeing 
With Corey, what you can look for in the scene for my music is mm -hmm. like somebody dope, talk that freaky shit to you, make you feel good. Ooh, okay, okay. <laughs> have you have you right? That's all. All right, you hear that, ladies? So stay tuned. Sure. So you signed to Wolfpack. Yeah, shout out to Wolfpack. Shout out to Wolfpack. How did that come about? How did you? What what was it that made you decide to sign to them? Uh, not his family. Like it was already, it was already like family. So it was just mm -hmm. easy for me to sign to, to Wolfpack because it's already like family. So okay, there wasn't no question about it. So like removing family aside, if it wasn't your family, would you still have signed or would you stay independent? Uh, nah, I would have signed too because the person that owned Wolfpack, big bro, like he a real solid one. So mm -hmm. he gonna go hard for you. And then like sign on anybody else or any other label or something. Okay, so I'm going to put you on the spot right yeah. now. Because yeah. you said that it's not about family, right? So I'm curious because I see a lot of conversations about, like, independent artists who they are against being signed. And then you have signed artists who feel like, you know, it's a great thing to be signed. Yeah. What would you say, like, mm. is, are, like, some pros to being a signed artist as opposed to staying independent? What do you mean some pros to be a like, what do you think are benefits to being, do you, do you feel like there are any benefits to being signed? Uh, in some cases, I feel like it might be, like, other artists. Like, when you sign to, like, certain labels, like, certain labels don't let you do certain stuff, I guess. Mm hmm And then other people would. Like, some of, like, like, the label I'm signed to, Woodpack, I know he gonna go a hundred times, like, harder, hard than probably than other labels, because, like, he believe in it. Mm -hmm. So would you say like a pro would be like that your music gets pushed out? Is it that you get connections? Is it that like you're working with people that maybe you wouldn't have worked with before? Yeah, I, I, yeah, I believe in that. Like with the pros, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's probably different, yeah. Okay. All right, so is there anything that you wish like looking back at the 13-year-old you that was making music? Is there anything that you wish you would have known back then that you know now? Mm, yeah, it's just how to like to... Like, I feel like when I was younger, like, you know, you don't know everything, so you just wish you would have, like, knew what to do back then, which you know how to do now, like, go to the club, like, you mm -hmm. know, do certain stuff. But of course, you can't do that when you're young, so. Of course. You got to learn everything when you get older, really. So you said go to the club. So, like, do you think that that's a big part of establishing yourself as an artist? Uh, or, something like that, yeah. Like, so what did you mean when you said yourself, that? Just getting yourself out there, basically. Okay. Yeah, okay. Because more, because you know, more is like more internet and stuff like that now. Mm -hmm. Back then, it wasn't really like that. Back mm -hmm. then, you know, back then, you used to like you had to go out to the clubs, right, right, right. And like doing doing stuff and like be outside every day. Mm -hmm. Now it's just really like internet, TikTok. You know. Do you feel it's like easier now? I mean, but you're also in Atlanta, so Atlanta yeah. is like every like I feel like there are a lot of artists. I mean, I'll be outside. I'll be outside every night. So right. That's how. I do and I'm it. sure that gets your name out there. Yeah, of course. That's how I did with my record. Yeah, yeah. I was outside every night before mm -hmm. I got signed. I'm like, I was outside every night getting my record played. Mm -hmm. Cause I know a lot of people. So what would you say, like, to artists? How did you How did you make that happen? If somebody's trying to get their stuff played in the clubs and stuff. Well, with me, for me, it worked for me. I knew all the DJs already, so mm -hmm. I would like show them some love. So of course they're gonna show me love. Mm -hmm. So that's what a lot of people don't get. Like if people want you to get uh, to go to the club, like people that got their music there, they want to go get it played in the club. They don't probably like show love to the DJs. But mm -hmm. with me, it was different because you know I throw them something, and then they'll go crazy and blast it everywhere I go, mm -hmm. and they liked it. And if they like your song, they really gonna go crazy. So that's what it was with my song. They liked it, so they really like kept going crazy like every day, every time I go somewhere. Or they'll send me videos to my phone, like, boom, I'm playing your song. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I bet. Focus. So, just staying well connected, one hand washes the other type of deal. Basically, yeah. Okay, so what song was it of yours that really, like, popped? Like, what was the song that got you attention? Uh, I did a song, matter of fact, I did a song with YK Osiris, mm -hmm. Make Love, and that almost did a million views on YouTube. Is that the song you had them playing in the club? Nah, after yeah, yeah, it was when been yeah, yeah, it was been going crazy playing. Oh, the well, yeah. So, this, so this is a new thing. You getting the songs played in the clubs is a new thing. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, all right, all right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So your song with YK Osiris was one that got big. Yeah, it was just a YouTube. Though. 
Um, right, but it only really made me. Do you have any other like cosigns or? No, I just know a lot of people, a lot of rappers and stuff. I already, I already know. Well, like, excuse just me. Doing, by just doing other things. By doing other things. Yeah, like gambling and shit. Okay. Yeah, we get relationships like that. Okay. So, I mean, you're from Atlanta, and a lot of times, like, we have artists come here, and we ask them, like, if there's another place that you could go, like, where would it be? And a lot of them say Atlanta. But I know Atlanta is getting very populated. Like, there's a lot of people out there, especially a lot of artists trying to make it. Do you feel like there's enough room for everybody who's nah. trying to make it out there? There's enough room, but Atlanta packed. Yeah. Yeah, I keep coming to Atlanta. It's packed. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> what you trying to say? It's, it's no packed. more room, Atlanta right? is packed. Ain't no room for no more people. Atlanta is packed. But we love there's it. There's a lot of people. Y'all yeah, like it. So, okay, so Atlanta is packed. You're saying there's no more room for us. So where do you think would be, like, the next best place for an artist to go if they wanted to make some connections and make it work? If they, they're not allowed to. No, I'm just talking, but nah. Atlanta, <laughs> Atlanta, Atlanta, the place to come to. This is where all the music is. Black Hollywood. Like, you got to right. come to Atlanta for real, for real. If you had to choose another place outside of Atlanta to be, where would it be? Mm, probably Miami. Why? Why uh, Miami? If I had to choose another place to stay at? Yeah, like, you I like, Miami? I like Miami. It's a vibe. He likes to party. I was saying, that's what I'm like, like you yeah. saying that, like. I like the party, the party vibe. I like the outside. I like the sun out there. I like the beach. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Beautiful woman. He outside for real. Okay. Outside. So what, so what ultimately is like your angle when it comes to your music career like what is it that you would like to see come out of this mm, I, w I think i would like to be one of the top artists mm -hmm. would you like to be one of the top artists in terms of people really bumping your music or just like one of the most well-known artists people really bump my music really fuck my own. so if you were making music and people liked it but you weren't really seeing anything from it would you keep making it yeah, of course. You yeah. gotta keep grinding. Okay, that's good. Because not everybody gonna like your music. I mean, you know that. Everybody's yeah. not gonna like your music. Some people gonna be like, oh, I like this kind of music. I like that kind of music. Everybody mm -hmm. gonna probably like the, all the music I make. Mm -hmm. I'm just checking your temperature. So okay. Different. Okay, so like, what are some things that some artists, rather, that you would like to work with? Um, uh, of course, Drake, Future, uh, Ride Wave. Lil Baby, mm -hmm. Lotto, it's a different artist. I think it's interesting you have Lil Baby on your list and y'all signed to the same label. Too. Yeah, but we ain't never made a song together. I That's know, my boy. I know, I know, I know. So like, how is it being signed to a label with somebody that you, were you bumping Lil Baby before you got signed? Yeah, I knew him before I got, I already knew See, him. you, okay, excuse me. <laughs> yeah. So you was already connected to Lil Baby. Yeah. Is there anything in the works, anything that may be in the works? No, not right now, but probably in the future. Okay. All right. So, if you had to give, like, your top three things for an upcoming artist mm -hmm. to have down pat to make it in this industry. Mm -hmm. And keeping in mind that everybody is not as well connected as you because <laughs> we know that you are connected and protected out here in these streets. If you had to choose, like, three things that you think are, like, the most important, what would they be? Uh, that they should do. Mm -hmm. that they should do right uh stay in the studio uh make a lot of content and just be on the internet a lot be on the internet a lot mm -hmm. yeah like get your music all the way out there and like keep like you know go and get all the connects that you can possibly try to get like just keep grinding basically mm -hmm. don't let nobody tell you, you can't do it okay Okay, so, um, what are your plans for 2022 as we move along? You just dropped a big single. For sure. So, what else can we expect? Uh, after this single, drop another single. I'm gonna drop another single. <laughs> and then probably the tape. Are you dropping a single, a solo? Or is it gonna have a feature on there? Nah, that one got a feature. Then after that, it's gonna be oh. solo. Who's the feature? The surprise. Is it a, a label mate or no? Nah, nah, somebody else. Atlanta? Yeah, he's from Atlanta. It's a boy. 
Yeah. yeah. yeah it's, it's definitely a boy, yeah. Okay. Highly anticipated or on some calm shit? I'm going to say of course of course all right and so you said ain't working on the tape that's already in the works yeah I'm, yeah so what's that sounding like oh the tape gonna be crazy for sure mm -hmm. and when can we expect it for the summertime you got a name mm, not yet i'm working on it okay i'm keep keep making these records fair enough fair enough but we'll be looking forward to it so is there anything else that you want to talk about touch on before we wrap this up no, I just want to say shout out to Woodpack. Um, you can find me on all platforms, you know. And if you're grinding, keep grinding. That's all you got to do. All right, y'all. Thanks for tuning in.